Well, hello, my YouTube family. We're going to make this short, and I do mean short. Even though the AC is on, I am sweating in crevices of my body that should not have sweat. <laughs> okay. So, it is... It is... Mm-hmm. Even he says it's hot. I don't know how cats do it in the summertime. I really don't with all of that fur. But then I do keep a fan on for him. So, spoiled as all hell. But now he's in the AC. So, screw the fan, Mom. You've got the good stuff. I'm staying in here. Okay. No. It is It is what it is. And why? Why is my father sleeping, but his AC is not on? I wanted to go talk to him about something, but he's sleeping. So I just peeked in his room. Why isn't his... He's all shirtless, got his shorts on, shirtless. Like, why are you suffering needlessly when you have the AC? I'm telling you, parents, when they get to a certain age, you can't tell them nothing. They know better. They still know better. I'm still your father and all of this. So if you want to suffer needlessly, you go right ahead. I'll, I'll gladly pay the, the Con Ed bill. You got to pay it anyway, no matter what. I got the AC in here. And when I'm done in here, the AC in the living room is going to go on when I'm watching my shows. So why would I suffer needlessly? And I'm on the second floor, and you know what happens to heat. It rises. So why would I do that to myself? You are downstairs. You have an AC. Why do you not put it on? You know what? Maybe God willing, when I get his age, I'll be as ornery or whatever as he is now. And again, the alarm went off, because that's what I wanted to talk to him about. The alarm went off. He just let it run. He just... Today was endless. Today was just endless. I know I'm just bitching and ranting. I'm just bitching and ranting. But today was endless. Today was the longest day. Today felt like 10 years. Why? I don't know why. I don't know why. Yesterday I just took off because I just felt like taking off. It, I'm getting to that point. I'm getting to that point. But I'm just, I'm not going to do it too often, hopefully go back to my a day a month kind of a thing but yesterday I just couldn't I woke up and I said I ain't going no damn place I managed to still go someplace I did a little bit of food shopping and that was that with that upon that but I did it early enough by the time I got out it started to get hot but um, I'm waiting online and who passes me by in the same place the Western Beef. He passed me right by. I said, hey, Pop. He turned. He was like, we both stood there laughing our heads off. I said, what are you? He said, what are you doing? I said, well, I took a day off. I just, I needed to take a day off. But I think he forgot that I told him that. I think he probably forgot that we even met at the Western Beef. This is how you know your parents are getting old. Later last night, at around maybe quarter to ten, he knocks on the door. And I said, hey, Pop, what's going on? He said, is everything okay? Are you getting tired of work? Did they fire you? I said, no, no, and no. What's wrong? He said, well, why did I see you at the shopping? Why, why were you at the Western Beef today? I said, because I took a day, Pop. I took a day. Oh, is everything okay? I mean, you know, if, if you... I said, no, everything is fine. Everything is fine. I just took a day. That's all. I just took a day. Oh, I thought, well, maybe you quit or something. 
I said, no, Pop, I just, I just took a day. It's tearing me up inside. It really is. Right here. I've become the parent. I never wanted kids. Okay, I do. But now I have to really pay attention to my father. And it's... It's sad. You know, it's kind of sad. This is my strong dad who's... I have to be the strong one now. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to cry. But it's getting harder and harder as each day goes by. It just, it just hurts. You know, it just hurts. I have to be aware. Wow, it's right here. It's something I'm not used to, but I have to get used to. And then there's him. So I have to keep track of my baby and I have to keep track of my father who's kind of become somewhat of a baby. Not, I mean, he's not that far gone. I really shouldn't say that. But he's not as sharp as he used to be. And I think it's taking a toll on me. But I'm sure it's taking a toll on him. I'm sure he realizes what's going on. And he's fighting it tooth and nail. But it is what it is. And when, you know, I had to calm him down and say, no, I'm, I'm good. Everything is good. I'm going back to work tomorrow, meaning today. Everything, I just needed to take a day. That's all. I just needed to take a day. Oh, okay. Well, you know, if, if you need any more, I said, no, I'm good, Pop. I'm good. Right now, I'm good. If I really am in a corner, I'll let you know. Okay, okay. And then he left. I'm not prepared for this, people. I hope I'm strong enough. I'm trying to be. Just, you know, time just keeps on ticking. It don't care. It, time just keeps on ticking. Time just keeps on ticking. Okay. Mm. Before the waterworks begin, and then I won't be able to stop them, I just wanted to let you know that this eyeshadow right here, and right here, is from this Cranberries and Chocolate palette. Love a dove, love a dove, love a dovey. And the shade that I am wearing is this one right here, where my finger's at, called Cosmopolitan. That's it right there. That's it right there. And uh, as for lips of the day, uh, I. I wasn't prepared. I didn't get anything. I didn't get a lips of the day. So you got eyes of the day. Okay, so here it is. Here it is. Cranberries and chocolate. I heart revolution. This is everything. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Everything. Things popping up. Did anybody watch um, Real Housewives of New York City yesterday? What is going on with Leah? Like, she's becoming quite the nuisance. Like, she's just angry at everything and everybody. What is her problem? I don't get it. I don't understand. I just, hmm. screaming at everybody, everybody. Like, okay, I understood. Once her mother called her to let her know that her grandmother is not doing well. 
and she started to cry because obviously she was very close to her grandmother. But you lashing out at everybody. And we can understand to a point, but you know. And then of course Ramona got to play the martyr. It was just a lot going on yesterday. Just, just a whole hell of a lot going on yesterday. And you know what really surprised me? Was the fact that Heather had to actually sit Luann down and explain the situation that's going on with her and Ebony. Here I am thinking Luann is very cosmopolitan and she she should know what's going on. But see, I just realized that she's aware of what goes on with white people. She is completely oblivious and ignorant to any other color other than white people. You called Ebony an angry woman. The only word you were missing was black. You're an angry black woman. That, but that's exactly what you meant when you said it. Talk about a slap in the face. And you want to know why Ebony was upset? And this is what Heather had to actually explain to Luann? Now, everybody's jumping on Heather's case because, oh, well, you know, she thinks she's all that and she thinks she can explain this. No, but see, I understood exactly where she was coming from because she had to school Luann. Somebody had to. And here I am thinking Luann is educated enough to understand what she said. She obviously didn't. She obviously did not. She only obviously has been around only white people. And you don't even know how to talk to a black person. You don't even know what to say and what not to say to a black person who's got just as much money as you do. Okay? And when Ebony said, I probably have more, more edu I have more diplomas or I'm more educated than everybody here. That's when Luann lost her shit. She wasn't trying to insult you, boo-boo. She was probably just facing, she was stating facts. She's more educated than you are, but I think Luann took it as a, an affront and was completely insulted. Like, how dare a black person be more educated than me? But see, if you were so damn educated, then you would know what to say and what not to say. You don't call an, a, a black woman an angry woman. That is an insult to black women and and on top of that on top of that black educated and maybe not so educated women are faced with the fact of that title black angry woman and we try and I say we because that's what I am a black woman try to not be called that you can be angry but the word angry is not the word you use upset annoyed frustrated not angry because angry black woman is a term has become a term that is very derogatory towards black women because it's it's it it's a stereotype and it's not a good one and it's not a nice one it's almost like black women are not allowed or not entitled to be angry about anything about anything so you can insult us, you can call us names, but God forbid we get angry because then, oh God, there she is, she's an angry black woman. No, no, no. We have a right to be angry if we feel slighted or insulted 
in any kind of way. And that's where Ebony was coming from. That was the space she was coming from with Luann. She wasn't insulting Luann. She was simply stating fact. She probably is more educated than Luann is. That's not calling Luann a stupid person. That's just saying she's probably got a little bit, uh, maybe one or two more degrees than you do. Does it, it, do you taking it as you're a stupid person, that's on you, boo-boo. She wasn't saying anything of the kind. She was just stating a fact. And she wasn't being obnoxious about it. She wasn't being, she wasn't bragging about it. She was stating a fact. Luann just lost her shit and decided to use the phrase, you're just an angry woman. That's the best you got, Luann? That's the best you got? I'm surprised you didn't say black. Why didn't you just put, you're an angry, angry black woman? Why didn't you just say that? You stopped yourself short from using the word black. You're educated enough to not use the word black, but then you're not educated enough to not use the term at all. Yesterday's show was, uh, yesterday's Real Housewives was an education for some, I'm sure. I'm just thirsty people. So if anybody else found the Real Housewives of New York interesting to watch yesterday, please hit me up in the comments below. You know who's my new friend? Um, Sonia. Sonia Morgan. I love her. I I love her. Oh, she get she when she gets too drunk, that's when I don't love her. But when she's on target and on point, yesterday she was on point. She understood exactly where Ebony was coming from. And even she was trying to school Luann in a way that maybe Luann could understand better from her, you know, white on white, as opposed to a black person educating Luann because Luann would take that as an affront and an insult. But Sonia was trying to straighten her ass out. There are just certain terms you don't use. There are just certain terms you do not use, okay? That's just point blank period. And I'm really kind of dumbfounded at the fact that Lu Luann is unaware. You, you're completely unaware? You've never been around black people ever, Luann? Like ever? Probably you've never been around black people that are on the same financial level as you are. But yes, boo-boo, there are rich black people. They don't all serve white people. They're not all butlers and maids. No, no. The mansions and the, the penthouses that you have, there are black people who have more than you. Ooh, I know that's hard to believe, but wake up. And I think she's having a rude awakening now with Ebony. Stay tuned. But yesterday's show was, uh, it was a little delicious. It's just a little delicious. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm not, uh, it's not right here anymore. I pushed it down. I'm good. Um, let me know what you thought about Real Housewives. I'm sorry I do not have a lip look for you, but I'm not going to just stop, turn around, and just get something just to put it on my lips. Normally I have it already in front of me. I do not have it in front of me this time. But the eyeshadow is on point and uh i am liking these palettes i really am liking them a whole hell of a lot this one is the newest one the cranberries and chocolate and i love okay i'm i'm getting quite a collection people quite a collection I'm, i think i'm having more fun collecting than actually you know 
enjoying the eyeshadows, which I do, by the way. I do. Okay, so that is that with that upon that. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Because this is what the eyeshadow look like, people. Oh, God. Okay. This is it. And I will talk to you tomorrow. If anybody watched Real Housewives of New York, please let me know what you thought of the episode. What was your favorite part? What was the part you weren't too hot about? Let me know, okay? I will talk to you tomorrow, hopefully. God willing. Okay? I love you. Mwah. Sorry, no lip look today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.